So here I am again, covering full stop punctuation. It's a very interesting rabbit hole that we've covered in very great detail. One of my most popular videos on the channel, to a follow up one, to an iceberg, to an ultimate one. God, that video was dog shit. To this one today. So everyone wonders, what is full stop punctuation? But not where it started. What I've always wondered was, where did this all start? And in this video today, we'll be answering that question. What is the origin of full stop punctuation? So to quickly recap what full stop punctuation is, full stop punctuation is a glitch in the YouTube search tool which has creepy shit posts and supposedly dark web footage that somehow bypasses YouTube censors and detects these videos with long random assortments of emojis and supposed keywords. I'll explain what those are later in the video. But to first understand the buildup of full stop punctuation, we have to go back to where it all started. So around 2015-2016, we have the first settings that are found of full stop punctuation using the Wayback Machine. And I only found two things. One thing we already know, which is shit posts, and some of that are rather bizarre. The link in the description of this video reads, This is a song I wrote to sing at an artist venue known as World Storm and Naminio. Nan -ami Nanaimo. I've always had problems deciding where the punctuation goes. And this actually loops around to where the original title, Full Stop Punctuation, actually means. The title, Full Stop Punctuation, is another form for period. The term, full stop, in other countries, means period. And period is a form of punctuation obviously. This will be important to remember for later when we're breaking down more of what full stop punctuation came to be. Other videos that come from this timeline are just top tier sh shit post quality videos. Like this Russian dude for some reason titling this video the same thing, playing some weird porn flash game. It seems that this YouTube glitch has been around for a long time. But around 2017 is when the Frankenstein mess really started to come together. Elsa Gate. Elsa Gate is another very well known YouTube rabbit hole that has about the same levels of disturbing content like full stop punctuation. Well, Elsa Gate was made up of thousands of channels <clears throat> that would supposedly make kid friendly content that would feature Spider-Man, Elsa, Hulk, and Joker doing bizarre and highly appropriate things such as grabbing Elsa's titties. most popular characters being used were Elsa and Spider-Man. Other appropriate videos of these characters having fake abortions. Banana. And I came in to see what I was hearing and it was Elsa delivering a baby for Anna. Or Spider-Man non-consensually going down on Elsa in a bathroom. Yes, Spider-Man lunges from taking a shit to immediately being frozen Elsa on the floor of a bathroom. This is one of the hottest kids videos of the year, clocking 7.5 million views. The more you dug down this rabbit hole, you would find very disturbing content, not meant for kids, or anyone for that matter. According to this article by The Verge, a person found a video fe featuring a child supposedly giving a grown man a hand job. Much like full stop punctuation, the more you dig down both rabbit holes, the more you will find illegal and disturbing content by using key search terms. Though Elsa Gate was more simple than full stop punctuation. Elsa Gate was trying to profit off of the new form of YouTube trying to push kid friendly content, and full stop punctuation was using, well, I'll explain later. Elsa Gate was then turned into a full in investigation by news outlets and YouTubers themselves, making YouTube to have to make a move. What did YouTube do to take action and regulate the Elsa Gate content? Well, what they did was they made a new Terms of Service section stating inappropriate use of family entertainment will not be allowed on the platform and demonetizing it, making it dry to profit off of what they were doing. Also, by removing large amounts of videos and channels in the thousands. Also, Gate was then finally taken down and dealt with by YouTube, and no new forms would spread out and become more cancerous than the last, right? 
early 2020 presented the early stages of full stop punctuation. Forms of creepy videos with very strange titles in Arabic started to pop up and shit posts. This section is completely credited to Summer and Gamers since he is the one that kind of dubbed down this rabbit hole in the first place. So in the title, roughly translates to, translates to a woman claims to be the Virgin Mary as Mary Christ H. To be honest, I don't know what the fuck that means, but all sorts of videos came up when this was typed into the search engine. This being a glitch in YouTube search tool. I just want to convert the title, because this seems like the most normal one. Uh, oh my god, again, it's, is it, is it, it, this is broken, it has to be broken. It just, can I, can I keep copying into it? It's just, it literally is more of it. It's, it's just about Jesus Christ and the Virgin Mary. In late 2020, when the term full stop punctuation was picked up again, by shit posts and supposedly illegal videos, this was full stop punctuation established in its full glory. So now that we've covered most of the history and origin of full stop punctuation, let's finally see how these videos glitch the YouTube search tool. I just want to say this section is heavily borrowing from the channel uh, Chill Fuel because he went into much greater detail and really did a good job explaining how this works. Do you remember when I mentioned the title of Fosta Monctuation being just a period? Well, when typing this in a string of characters or emojis into the search bar, similar or same videos would pop up. These terms, though, are randomized. Then the same people from the previous section posting videos took advantage of this to get more views, making full stop punctuation what it is. Due to the titles and characters being randomized in the title, it makes YouTube jobs detecting these videos, like Elsa Gate, much harder. It also lets the freaks that made those Elsa Gate videos get away with it scot-free. Though this sounding very true, it's only Chilfuse's theory. So now we know that full stop punctuation is a form of Elsa Gate by having shock factor content and strange vibes of random videos. We also now know the title means and shows how it affects the YouTube search bar by bypassing it and making it broken. But now only one question remains. What was the point of full stop punctuation? Because obviously, Elsa Gate was made to lure children to watch inappropriate and illegal content. And the random strings of Arabic writing were made to bypass YouTube search tool to post shit post memes and get clicks, like full stop punctuation. But I feel that's only the surface level of full stop punctuation's purpose. Was it truly used for the same reason as the Arabic titles? Or was it actually used for something much more darker and sinister?